Today I present the Joint Standing Committee on Treaties Report 163, which contains the Hello and welcome to About the House. The Honourable Stuart Robert MP is the Chair of the Joint Standing Committee on Treaties, one of the most prominent committees in the Australian Parliament. Well, the Treaties Committee is one of the five, I guess, top Joint Standing Committees of the Parliament. And the Parliament's job is to keep the Executive honest. The Treaties Committee has been around for 20 years, put in place by John Howard in, in 1996, and its job is to look into, review, analyse every single international treaty that the government of the day wishes to enter Australia into, uh, and to look at it and make sure that, I guess, the country is doing the right thing by entering into force into that. So we've hit the ground running. We're the first committee uh, of this parliament to be established, uh, weeks ahead of everyone else, because day one we've got three new uh, treaties to look at, including the Paris uh, Agreement, the Doha Amendment, uh, and then the, the change to the GATT round, especially with IT, and then of course six treaties being referred from the last parliament, and one new one coming up. Uh, so there's a, a, a lot of work happening, and it's happening very fast. The Treaties Committee has recently completed its first report of the 45th Parliament, only three months after sittings began. Importantly, the Committee has recommended that Australia ratify the Paris Agreement, which aims to limit global temperature increases to well below 2 degrees Celsius. The committee's pretty important. There's lots of them. There's not just the five big joint standings, but there's a range of others. Uh, some say that almost 50% of government policy comes out of a lot of the committee work, and of course committee work sharpens government policy as well as, well as legislation and government decision making. Uh, the beauty of treaties is that it actually gives the parliament confidence that the executive is looking to bind Australia into an international framework, uh, that their peers in the parliament, uh, supported by institutions and individuals right across Australia, have actually looked at it. There's been a lot of oversight before we sign up the nation to what are in some cases some quite onerous requirements. Uh, so before the government goes and signs the nation up, there is an entire process of review and that's designed to give Australians great confidence. Mr Robert said the best way for a person on the street to have their voice heard was to visit the committee online. First thing you'd do is you'd embrace Dr Google and you'd, you'd Google J Scott, Joint Standing Committee on Treaties or just Parliament and Treaties. You would find the Treaties webpage and on there you'll find each of the treaties that we have now officially opened comment on. Any organisation or Australian citizen is able to provide comment, send through a submission to us, uh, make, make the submission worthwhile. Uh, don't say, I don't like this, that, that's not going to fly. Be constructive, this is about your parliament working for you. Uh, and then your voice is heard. And if you wish to present oral evidence uh, at one of the hearings, again, all the hearing dates will be on the website. You'll be able to say, I'd like to come along, I'd like to present to the committee in person, and that opportunity will be provided to you. Thanks for watching. For more information about the Treaties Committee, you can visit aph.gov.au forward slash treaties.